And new details on that tragedy in the southwest. A juvenile killed on their way home from school, another recovering in the hospital tonight. And Austin Carter there is live at the senior Fort Apache and Mall in Austin. This is just absolutely heartbreaking. Todd, Trisha, it really is, and we just got even closer to the scene just a few minutes ago. Go ahead and take a look here behind me. We're told this is that vehicle that hit those two pedestrians, killing one of them. And take a look farther down the road. You can see investigators, they're trying to piece this crash all together. You can even see what looks like shoes and a backpack still in the road here tonight. Simply heartbreaking. And we just got some brand new information from Metro. They do tell us that this crash happened just after 3.30 this afternoon. We're told three pedestrians... Um, we're jaywalking um, three kids crossing the street here. Two of them were hit by this vehicle. One of them did have minor injuries taken to UMC, but one of them was injured critically. They were rushed uh, to Southern Hills Hospital where, where they were later pronounced dead. Again, these three kids uh, we learned in the past couple of minutes were jaywalking at the time of this crash. Now, the driver did stay on scene, and Metro does tell us that uh, they do not believe that they were under any sort of impairment, anything like that. Now, CCSD police, they are out here as well, and we're actually trying to confirm if um, any of these juveniles were students at a nearby middle school right here at the corner of Fort Apache and Mall. This is, again, right across the street from Wet n Wild. So CCSD police is here, Metro as well, and they do expect Fort Apache here to be closed probably for the next couple of hours again as they try to piece this horrific crash here together tonight. Again, we are just south of Mall on Fort Apache. Again, the latest information we've learned, three juveniles were jaywalking at the time. Um, two of them were hit by this vehicle here behind me. One of them dying from their injuries. We're going to keep you posted on the latest information as soon as we get it on our website, ktnv.com. For now, we are live in the Southwest Valley. Austin Carter, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas. Todd Trisha.